Greetings, peasants of the internet, and welcome back to another glorious episode of Fallout New Vegas Modern. Um, yeah, it's been about two, maybe three weeks since I recorded last. Uh, just got back into the game stuff, basically happening. Yeah, that was my quest. Uh, inform the king. Okay. We're going to the NCR. I for wait, did I already do this? I think I already did that. Did I? I definitely informed him of something. I'm pretty sure I did. Huh. Okay, like spike. Hey. Yeah, you don't want to watch this, so I'll cut it and be you back when I find the king. Wait, he's really probably downstairs in the lounge area, isn't he? At least I hope he is. No check anyways. Well, hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? Mm. That's a shame. Well, do what you want. Just don't expect it to matter. Okay, Personal I'm on... Space meaning I'm anything on. to you, lady? Yeah, I'm on bad terms with Pacer now. So yeah. Watch yourself. Oh wait, no, you. There's some unsavory. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Sure did. Sure can. What did you want to know? Near as I can tell, was some sort of religious institution. Oh, I know it says school out front. But everything in here seems to be related to the worship of some guy from back in the day. People used to come here to learn about him, to dress like him, move like him, to be him. If that's not worship, I don't know what is. Not a whole lot to tell. There were only a few books left in here when we found it, and those were rotted away. There were some posters left that were pretty well preserved, which is how we know all this stuff was based on the same guy. The thing of it is, we don't even know what his name was. All the posters just referred to him as the king. Well, that and the giant sign outside. This place could have been the king's house of dog chow, and I still would have taken the name. But I like to think I keep the memory alive. As far as we can tell, the guy that built this place was considered the coolest of the cool and taught other people how to be more like him. People would come all around to learn how to sing, dance, dress, and even speak the way he did. Something like that, yeah. There were some working tapes here when we first got here, so we know what he sounded like. Sadly, they stopped working a few years back, so I sold them to a junk merchant who was passing through. Otherwise, I'd play some for you. All the outfits you see my guys wearing around were originally found in here, too. Along with more hair gel than you can shake a stick at. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. For now, but they said eventually he's going to get worse. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. To understand Freeside, you have to look yeah, back a few quest. years. Originally, we were all just tribes making a living in this area. That all changed when Mr. Today yeah, Mr. House story all over so again. Blah, blah, blah. So why... 
We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old-timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves, and they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others, and that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Whoa there. Not just anyone can be a king. First of all, we usually only accept people native to the area. Second, I have to approve, and I don't. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. But if you're fixing to join something fierce, stick around. And if you play your cards right, things might change. Oh, okay. Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? Pace? He and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. There's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. There's me, but I don't really like talking about myself. There's Julie Farkas and the other followers down at the old Mormon fort. The Garrett mm -hmm. twins up at the Wrangler deserve mention. Wouldn't be right not mentioning the Van Graffs, I suppose. And while they're not important in the overall scheme of things, there's Mick and Ralph, too. Just don't tell them I said that. Who all did you want to know about? Hmm, okay, uh... Uh... Sure thing. What'd you have in mind? All right. I'll see you later. Three types about... You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Sure did. Uh... Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said what? Huh, that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstand. What the hell? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. What can the king do for you? Oh, okay. All right. I'll see you later. Okay, well... Uh, hey. Hold on a second, let me just check. Yeah, we've got plenty of time, don't worry. So, we're going down here. With my trusty deagle. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the Silver Rush. We're gonna go kill some people. And they're gonna love it. Prepare to vats as well. Leg spike. You there, keep your hands where we can see him. Draw a weapon and we will fire. What the hell? Seriously? King's gang member. Alright, oh, I'm I'm reloading from the last save point, okay? Yeah, I'm reloading from here. How do I holster my weapon? Uh what was it? H T? No. How do I holster? F? No, F. Y? J, K, L, M, uh, no. C, X, 
Ver. E. What? I forgot how to holster. So yeah, I'm just going to um, items, weapons. Okay. Wait. Let's talk to this guy. What's going on here? Why the hell are you here? I got this under control. Sure. Put your weapon away or we will fire. Hey! Oh, come on. I don't even have a weapon out. Load. No. Back. Load. Okay, how do I load? Oh no, wait, how do I um, Yeah. One, one, um. Oh, oh. I'll be right back while I check this. Okay, I fixed this out, and now we're going to talk to them. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Oh, okay then. Good. Turn to the king and let him know uh. the situation with the NCR has been defused. Okay, I'll do that. And now you... The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. He's probably already heard about what you did here. Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, you're probably going to be in trouble because the envoy was sent. We need to find out what exactly happened to the envoy. And as you're the one who tried to be in charge, I'm pretty sure you attempted to do something nasty to me. Like a very naughty little boy, you've probably done something really, really, really naughty. Oh, well, I only wish you could fast travel quicker. Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapons. Oh. The the better photo, photo. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty. So I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Okay. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Um... Ask away. Huh. All right. I'll see you later. Okay. I've got no idea what else to do now. Nothing with the king. Okay, sure, we're going to go get Rex. We're gonna go talk to Julie Farker. Oh yeah, by the way, Mr. Doctor Man here. He needs some clothes. I can't be bothered yet, so Yeah. Personal space meaning anything to you, lady? Oh no, I'm pretty sure it doesn't make it pop a cap in your head if you want it. Yeah, we're going to go talk to Julie Farker. Whatever. Uh <sighs> If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Okay, lag spike, lag spike. And we're back, ladies and Come gentlemen. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Uh, long, boring walks. Oh. Need to talk to Chili Fa. Lag spike. Okay. Ah! Doing that. Hello, Julie. 
Is there something you need? Uh... Okay then. What? Oh god, not one of these things again. <sighs> Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. No problem. Okay. Oh, we need to fast travel. Can I fast travel from here? I thought I was on better terms with three side though. Ah, stop doing that. Okay, we're right here. Lasers, plasma, pistols. I think I can use the king's favor hey. later on when defending the dam as well. Things have been a lot better since you helped. But she said, "What? Why didn't she just say so when I was there?" Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is. There's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. First... He hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect her as you would me. Yay. Let's talk to Rex. How you feeling, boy? Um... Okay. Okay, so I think this will be the new... Oh! Do you like a new... You know what, um, where's my... Where's the doctor? No? There he is! Hey. What's up? Um... He can perform cybernetic surgery, that's good to have. Uh, it could be better. If we can find a way to work toward the independence of new... But... Oh, never mind. I thought you'd have something to say. Isn't that the king's about... dog? 
Rex. No, wait, uh, Veronica. She might have something. What's up? Uh. Nope, never mind. Yeah, we'll continue in the next episode where we will take. Hey, isn't that the um, king's dog? Yep. The squatters have been more and more trouble lately. Yeah. We're going to continue in the next episode. Take this nice, friendly little dog somewhere nice. Do wait, does it? Use range. Oh, maybe that hurts your brain. Okay. So yay, we'll go. We'll be going to the place. I keep saying that, don't I? Yeah. See you in the next episode then. See you later.